definitely one for nostalgia. Zach, you are funky. <laughs> All right, Hayabusa opening up with strong power moves. Tele oh, there's that teleporting that is right. Giovanni, he likes to teleport. That's right. That's, that's kind of his thing right now. We're going to see if uh, OD is, can mix it up enough to actually win this here. That was a really nice sidestep to come in with some punches, but Hayabusa is countering. This is definitely some higher level play from these players. All right. Down we go falls to a sliver. Ooh, oh, it's anyone's game, but Zach takes it right there. I am now dubbing OD the four kick man. I'm making it official if he wins this. <laughs> Let's see if we can get a trend going. Definitely. <laughs> All right, Hayabusa going to do some of those teleports that successfully hit Zach as long as he don't, you know, he did Oh, and he taunts. He taunts and gets beaten up for it. <laughs> Hayabusa responds to the four kick man with the three kick man. We're oh. going to see which one's better. Hayabusa definitely seems to Ooh. be getting his grip back on this game. He's the last moments of the round there to break the wrap. We're going to see... Uh, who's gonna end up going down downstairs to the next part here. <laughs> and what's great now too in Dead or Alive 5 is that the map actually starts to teeter-totter. You know, before it was very much like kind of a flat 2D setting, but now you start like the whole map and everything starts to shift. Yeah, that's that's true. Uh, we haven't had a whole lot of time to test it, but it feels like if the map is sort of teetering in one direction, you're actually able to use that slope to prolong your juggles a little bit. Oh, and here they are both down to just a couple hits away from winning. Oh, and there's Zach goes with the four hit combo. Oh my god, I, re I really don't know who's gonna take this one. No, this could go either way. Oh, he's gonna go straight down, no cliffhanger, straight into the river. That's all right, I think that was less damage for him. Yep. All right, Zach putting high boost up against those walls with the successful four, lit four lows from Zach. Oh man, Zach is just getting mauled against the wall here. Oh, That's and Hayabusa it. comes back. It is now 2-2. Hayabusa had over 75% health in that one. You know, he might win this. Oh, and he stops the taunt oh. right in his face. <laughs> he needs to stop hitting that taunt button. I don't know. He might very well be doing it on purpose, the way he's playing. <laughs> Well, you definitely don't want to be risking some Ooh. whiffs like that at the final round. Three kick man versus four kick man. We are seeing it in earnest. Six hit combo coming out of Zach. Both players are down to about the same amount of health now. Ryu with those teleports, but Zach blocked at that time. Here we go. Is he going to teleport? Is he going to do it? No, it doesn't. Oh. But it doesn't matter because he comes out with two kicks after the teleport. Take the win. He's extremely oh, man. excited. He's, he is happy. He's you doing his You can tell dance. he was nervous there because it was down to the final hit. And don't forget, it's single elimination, too. So once you lose, you're done. That's right. That's right. All right. Loading up into the next round here. Once again, we have Ryu Hayabusa versus Zach. All right, Zach looks like he's going to be playing this one evasive sidestepping, but it doesn't matter because Hayabusa those kicks. Oh, starting up with the four kick man again. <laughs> and here he goes with the five hit. Could have launched Zach, but unfortunately chose not to. Good counter by Hayabusa. And there's that teleport grab, you know, that was whiffing for him earlier, but now he's actually getting that off. Yeah, it's, it's got some really strange evasive properties on it, too, so you can never tell when you're going to be able to duck it and when it's just going to land on you. It's, it he, can actually be a little frustrating sometimes. You know, I, I think if Zach, if he starts to sidestep every time he sees Ryu getting ready for a teleport, he might be able to, to get the advantage on it. Yeah, yeah, you can definitely sidestep around it. You just have to notice it coming. And Hayabusa kind of has a little bit of an animation to see that it's coming. Oh, this is this is like Clash of the Titans with this three kick versus four kick thing here. <laughs> I mean, a lot of casuals uh, chiming in here probably don't know what we're talking about, but uh, three oh. kick man was a guy who won with the three kicks that comes out of Hayabusa. He won a DOA three tournament with just that like a, a long time ago. Oh my God, I had no yeah. idea. So anytime we see that in tournament play, it's three kick man because we don't know the actual identity of this individual. It could be anybody. <laughs> Well, nonetheless, here comes Hayabusa with that teleport grab. These teleports are just working beautifully for him. That's Hayabusa's yep. bread oh, and butter. Oh, there we go. That last hit was guaranteed there because Zach was knocked off that his legs. Was that was...